Nesclyffe Army Training Area, Shropshire. A chance for military reservists to put civilians through their paces and teach them new skills. Yeah, it's going great. Yeah, the team seem to be pulling well together. Fantastic, yeah, it's been really good. It's been really interesting. Well, to be honest, anything better than spending two days in an office. So, uh... 48 determined civilians, including office workers, students, police officers and NHS staff, all signed up for Exercise Reserve Challenge. Over three days and two nights, one camping out under the stars, reservists from the Army's 11th Signal and West Midlands Brigade and the RAF passed on some of their expertise. You know, if anyone came on this thinking that they wouldn't learn any new skills, they'd be wrong. Because, you know, the, the Army constantly changes, whether it's the reserves or the regular. I think it's different because you you're coming away from your, your normal, normal role, so there's no expectation in terms of rank or what, what you did previously, all that's forgotten. So you, you start from scratch. They took on challenges including Ready Steady Cook, preparing a starter, main and dessert with mystery ingredients in just 40 minutes. You've got the, the siege name. The RAF reserves tested their teamwork with a simulated helicopter down scenario. I really loved that exercise because in that specific exercise uh, we worked as a team. Uh, we had like we had a timekeeper and there was there were bits where we had to walk blindfolded and just depend on the leader. Um, and they also gave us feedback about how to be a better leader. 202 Field Hospital schooled them in first aid with an IED scenario. They've picked things up really, really quickly. They have I didn't expect them to have the knowledge that they do have, but actually their knowledge is quite good. The men and women of the Midlands also learned about military engineering, mine clearance and marksmanship. Gives them a robustness, uh, resilience, um, it'll, it'll give them some additional view of leadership development. The exercise enhances the reserve's relationship with the community. They're always looking for servicemen and women, whether they're regular or reserve, who have those embedded skills such as discipline, timeliness, um, turnout. They want those sort of skills. And you know, if we have reservists looking for work, they'll get, they'll get a leg up because we have that relationship now with, with big business. So it's a great team building event. It's fun, but they do take away some really good skills. As well as new skills, the exercise gives civilians an insight into life in the reserves and gives employers a chance to get to know another side of their colleagues. Suzanne Chislett, Forces News.